Hello everybody. Today we start actually a new series just looking at the plugin. Principles stay the same. We want to have an inventory component that sits on every possible owner and that is able to manage a lot of inventories. We want to have some flexibility in assigning access rights to that inventory. So for example, if I meet a trader, I want to see a trade window, something like that. If I meet a chest, I want to see the chest window. If I'm part of a guild, I want to have access to the guild bank. Looking at these different access rights, that is also something that we want to implement. We want to be able to have read-only access, full access. And we want to have an easy way to integrate data-driven items a lot, so that we have a chance to not only have kind of item templates, but also can derive from them different instances. First thing, I will give you a demo where we want to go. Important, we want to play it as a client, so we want to have a multiplayer. We will use two players just testing it out. And here, one thing for this demo, normally not on development because it's a bit slow, um, I will disable that it runs under one process. It really simulates a full um, server client architecture, so to really look if we can use it in a multiplayer environment. So let's try that out where we are at this current Point of time. We have two players here. We are, we are here on our demo map where these different stands will give you different things to do with your inventory, getting items, deleting items. And here I can get a default inventory because at the moment I don't have any. So I get a belt pouch of 0 of 10, another one. So I can really add as many inventories as I want. Here I have a function to request a couple of Items, the items are from the element, uh, from the periodic system elements that I showed in another video. And here I have a kind of field and yeah, on overlap, I will get new items filling my inventories um, quite smoothly. So here now I have two inventories, both are full, 10 of 10 with different um, elements, doesn't play a role what we have here. And now we can really play around with the functionality that we see here. For example, we could go and merge items. You see the one is only nine of 10 simply because a couple of items were merged. They are the same and they are just added on each other. Then we can sort on different things. We can sort by weight. We can sort by name. We can sort by grade, you know, like common, uncommon and so on and so on. You will see that inventory is changing the moment I, add, I enter here by name, for example. So I can sort whatever I want depending on the object that I use here. Then I can, of course, delete things from the inventory. The inventory, if you see, it always takes the inventory that is least full. And you will see that you get empty slots here. So meaning it's already simulating a kind of 2D array. And I can, of course, condense it down so that the empties are actually deleted. And then I only have a filled inventory. And the, the, error, that, the array that is behind it is um, really reduced. Here the interesting thing, and here I have a treasure, treasure chest, sorry. And the treasure chest will open when I come to it and you will see that I get a new inventory, this common treasure chest, zero of 100 and remove only. So meaning I have a certain right on it. I don't have full access and it's unfortunately empty, but I get access the moment I enter the range. Here I go and drop some items. You see my belt pouch was full, now it's only eight of 10. So I dropped two items and let's go to the other mannequin here and see if I can do something with these items. So let's make it a bit bigger. So mannequin needs a new inventory. So now I have an empty inventory. I can again get some items into it. I can uh, go to my um, items that are dropped. And now at the moment I have two of 10. Let's look crossing it. Now I have four of 10. So meaning I can really take up the items that are dropped by another mannequin and can put them into my inventory at the moment, simply running over it. Yeah, getting another inventory, requesting a couple of items, going to the treasure chest, getting access to the treasure chest. Eh, kind of a bug should be open when I'm there. <laughs> and 
Here is sort of the base functionality really. Getting items, putting it in, putting out, dropping it. That is already there and it's working for multiplayer quite smoothly. On a better version level really. <laughs> it's not really productive level. And the one big thing that is missing obviously is um, we only have text inventories. I did a kind of status map. So some backlog in process and done. Done is actually, that is this video here. I will add the video link. Also done is an explanation how to generate items. I will do more there. Periodic, periodic system elements might not be the last that you need. Then I have a couple of core elements, like what is an item, what is the inventory component, what's the inventory manager, how to install the whole thing, how to exchange information between manager and component, and how to get something like a default inventory. So these are the things that I will do in very short videos, less than five minutes, to explain the different aspects. And then I have a lot of smaller things to explain what are the support elements and how to do certain functionality. Yeah, looking forward to that journey. It should be finished, let's say, end of the year or so. Then we have a kind of free inventory for everybody and hopefully one that is stable and useful. Thank you.